So the other day, I was sitting in here, it was after my Tower of God reaction, or I was editing it or something along those lines, and I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool to do something Tower of God related in a game? And then I thought, wait a sec, that's exactly what we can do. So this is XCOM, Tower of God edition, what does that mean? Well, XCOM, if you didn't know, is a game about shooting aliens, which coincides perfectly with Tower of God. So I thought, well, let's make characters Tower of God related. And what do you think I did? Hold on, let me get this out of the way. That's exactly what I did. We're here for XCOM Tower of God Edition. If you guys want it, this is just a proposal video to see if this is something that you guys want to watch. So. Like I said, XCOM 2, it's about shooting aliens. And you basically can make your soldiers, you can recruit your soldiers, but if you want to, you can like pre-make them here. And then if the soldier dies, they're dead. And you're basically, the aliens are taking over the world and you're trying to like get it back, essentially. And it's a lot of tactical stuff going on. It's a really fun game. I've never actually beaten it, but odds are a lot of you have heard of it. So this is Tower of God Edition. I've made 10, 10? Have I made 10 or 11? 10 different Tower of God characters. And I want you all to think of how, of how I did. So first of all, the character creation, it's not perfect, but I did the best I could. So don't, don't judge me too harshly on that, please, please. Have some mercy on my soul. So I did the best I could. The hair is not perfect. It, nothing is really perfect at all, but but we'll see how I did. I, I tried to capture what who who the character was. So so let's start let's start with our boy Bomb. Sh shall we? Let's uh, hold on, let, me, let me let me get this out of the way here. Let's start with let's start with our boy Bomb here. Let, let's let's look at Bomb. So as you can see, Bob. I did the best I could. Okay, I I did the best I could. At, at, a, at a mature bomb, okay? Bomb does, uh, you know, this is this is bomb after some uh, cu couple hamburgers and uh, some some working out, you know? He, he's gained some muscle, he's he's packed on some, you know, s some some stuff, um, and, and he, you know, his face changed up, but you know what? It's still a bomb that we know. As you can see, I put him in a ponytail to sort of re reminisce uh, the viol days with the long hair a little bit. None of the other hair really, really reminded me of Bomb. So as you can see, I gave him the, the black here, reminiscent of his time in FUG, and then the red here because he uses the, the thorn. He uses the thorn. It's perfect. Uh, yeah, it's perfect. Okay, so we got Bomb. What about his best friend? We got, we got Kuhn Aguero, I guess. So Kuhn, as you can see, He's got he's got his uh, his lighthouse here, reminiscent of uh, his lighthouse. I gave him these hexes for a bit of an extra design. I actually spent a couple hours on this, so you guys better not make fun of me for this. And his hair, you know, it's, it's not quite super blue, but it's not quite white. It's kind of in between. Let's move on. That that's Coon. There are actually some good designs in there. Those two were some of the worst. L let's see a couple of the girls. So we have we have uh, we have a Dorsey. So, all right, this one's actually not bad. The only thing is I couldn't really get her hair right, but the pixie cut, which is the hair here that it says, it, it, it's good enough, right? It still kind of reminds me of Endorsey. All the other hair was either like too long or too short. So it was like, eh, this is good enough. The hearts, you gotta give me points for the hearts. And then the bong bong, the coloring reminiscent of the bong bong here. So Endorsey, pretty solid if I do say so myself. Also, I'm not sure why the eyebrows don't change, but you can change the eye color and pretty solid stuff, I gotta say, with the orange eyes. All right, how else do I wanna embarrass myself? We've got, we've got hots. Hots, you know, this is what Hots looks like, right? This is totally Hots from Tower of God. Um, I don't know, I gave him this kind of cool coloring. It's reminiscent of his uh, red and black jacket design. So I thought it looked pretty cool. Uh, and he's got his like, uh, his sword Donghei, his ignition weapon here. And it, this is what Hots looks like in, in, in like 20, 30 years, totally, totally. Then we got Wang Nan Jia, my boy Wang Nan. <laughs> he actually looks pretty good. He's got the spiky hair, the spiky in the front. It's reminiscent of his uh, season two design when we first meet him and he's wearing that like green and yellow sort of uniform. I thought it worked pretty well. And of course, how could you forget the Shinsu bombs that he uses? They, this might be a little too blue, but whatever, we're, we're sticking with it. By the way, I don't know why, but while I was making these characters, I realized Wang Nan Jia? Wang Nan Jia? 
Guangdan Jihad? No, I'm kidding. I don't think there's a connection there, but I think it's like a different translation, but still. Coincidence? I think not. Then we have Hua Ryun. I don't remember what Hua Ryun looks like. Hua Ryun actually looks pretty good. I gave her the eye patch. That's kind of all we need, right? The red hair, the yellow coloring, because she sort of uses that, that staff, that rod, I believe, a few times. And I believe it's yellow when she does pull it out from time to time. And I mean, what more can I say? Hua Ryun actually not looking bad. The hair, we couldn't really get the hair longer than this. Or I, I couldn't get the hair longer than this. So it's the best I can do. So Hua Ryun fanboys, please forgive me. She actually doesn't look bad at least. All right, I'll do AOA next. I want to save Evan Kill for last because Evan Kel's kind of my favorite. Uh, so we have Ewa. I gave her pink design because I think her hairband. Well, okay, actually, why did I give her pink? She, she wears. Pink is part of her design at some point, and I thought I'd incorporate that in her, into her design here. She has the bangs, so I thought, okay, I'll give her bangs here, even though her hair doesn't come uh, fall out in the back. And then she has a hairband. I know it's not the right color, but it's it's good enough. It's good enough. I actually forgot to change her weapon design. <gasps> oh no, this is unacceptable. No, 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 no. Weapon color. No, we gotta we gotta fix that right now. Flames. Flames. What about Lay Row Row? What about my boy Lay Row Row? Uh, <laughs> exact same hair as Hots, um, but you know, that's okay. It's okay. We, worse things have happened. I kind of wonder if we can give him better hair. Eh? It's at least different. Wait, or did Kuhn have that hair? So do, do you guys see my problem? Look at this. None, none of, do, do, you, do you want me to give him this hair? This hair? Lay Row Row doesn't look like any of these. So you know what? Be thankful for what you have. That's all I can say. I give him the hexes just like Kuhn because he also uses lighthouses and it kind of just reminds me of that a little bit. And his lighthouses are yellow, so you know, uh, it's, a, it's a stretch, I understand. Who do we have left? We have Yuri and Evan Kell. Okay, <sighs> let's see if the Yuri fanboys kill me. Not bad, right? Not bad for Yuri. She's got the red eyes, the black hair, and the green April. So here's the thing. I was debating whether to use Black March or Green April for her design for her weapon, and she's been using Green April more recently, so I thought it'd be fitting to give her the Green April here, the Green April coloring for her weapon. And also, the Black March being black, it'd be kind of boring just to have another black weapon, so I was like, well, here we go. Yuri Jod, boys. And finally, my finest creation, the one that I am probably the most proud of, even though I won't appease all of you, I'm just, I think it's hilarious, is Evan Kell. This is Evan Kell. <laughs> Now you may be like, what, what, how does this look like Evan Kell? The hat. The hat does it all. Evan Kell is now a cowboy. <laughs> In all seriousness, no, I don't think it looks bad once you start looking at it more. The green and red, reminiscent of her design. Um, she has that like red sword weapon thing. And the hat, it was the closest thing I could get to what she wears on her head. And the more I looked at it, the more I th thought it was hilarious and just awesome. So this is Evan Kell. That, that, that's it. That's all I got. So that being said, down the line, we can always make more characters if you guys are interested in this. Oh, this is actually from a previous playthrough that I did this character here. I think this is actually my girlfriend. Uh, the, uh, the design I gave my girlfriend, yeah. Because you can do this with like, you can make your friends, soldiers, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, we can make more characters down the line. I tried making White, I tried making Han Sung Yu, but they just, they look so off. I was like, oof, only if I have to. So as these characters die and we keep going, we can maybe make more of them. Then I can also take suggestions in the comments for which characters you guys want to see, but only if you guys want to see me play through this game using these Tower of God characters. I just think it'd be funny. We could make Hots like a ranger so he could use a sword. Um, we can make Kun uh, a medic, or not a medic, but a computer tech where you can hack techie guy where you can hack into the the robots and stuff i think that'd be really fun but let me know what you guys want to see uh this is basically just my uh me offering the project up for your consideration to see if you're interested but i think it'd be kind of fun so yeah and also just to see these awful designs in uh in xcom form uh so yeah anyway let me know guys i don't know how to end this video this was very spur of the moment but uh, I'm excited if you're excited. Let me know if you're excited by commenting down below if you want to see this series. It's going to be fun. We get to see Bomb die and Kuhn potentially get eaten and turned into a mush. Yeah, I think it'd be fun. So let me know.